Millions of Aussies spend hundreds of hours a year stuck in their cars on the daily commute. And on days like this in Melbourne, it can be soul-destroying stuff. But imagine there was no traffic at all. Imagine you could swap your car for the serenity of a boat. Well, that's the challenge, to see if we can feasibly commute to work in Melbourne on the river. In theory, I will wave goodbye to traffic snarls and embrace the relaxed tranquility of river life. But does the reality match the fantasy? Let's find out. The journey starts in Melbourne's northern suburbs on the sleepy Maribyrnong River. The slow pace is relaxing and the views are gorgeous, the tree-lined riverbanks framing the city in the background. What's not to like? It's so utterly different from the stop-start traffic on the road. I could really get used to this. So the boat I'm driving today is the Whitley Clearwater 1650 and it's got a 70 horsepower Yamaha donk at the back there, four stroke, and she's lovely. She's quiet, she doesn't use too much fuel, very easy going. Some of the things you'll see on the water are pretty interesting too. How about a floating tramp? Oh, and let's not forget Australia's largest Chinese temple and a statue of Mazu, the sea goddess. Delving deeper into the industrial heart of Melbourne, graffiti is everywhere and cargo containers stack like giant Lego blocks become the norm. Imagine that. That's where I could be right now, instead of plying the glassy waters of the river. If you want to get a sense of just how insignificant you are on the river, sidle up to a cargo ship. These things absolutely dwarf the 5.2 metre Whitley runabout. Before long, I'm sidling onto the Yarra River, and this is one very wide lane. Passing under the Balti Bridge, its twin struts reaching skyward like a pair of giant goalposts, the city looms large. But there's a certain point where the bridges get really low. Smaller vessels only. So the speed limit on the Yarra River is only five knots. That's about eight kilometers an hour. And it is a bit of slow going, but you know what? It's super peaceful. It's kind of nice taking that slow pace. After the industrial grunge of Footscray and Port Melbourne, the city looks sensational. It's mesmerizing. Pedestrians pack the riverfronts on both sides as buildings reach upwards. While the rest of town is stuck in gridlock, we're just cruising along. All right, so we're getting into the guts of the city now, and I didn't realize how cool the architecture was in Melbourne. Some of these bridges, wow we. Shuffling up the Yarra River is quite the experience, and the perspective you get is so utterly different to sitting in a metal cage on the road. I've walked up and down the Yarra countless times. I've ridden up and down it thousands of times, but going on a private boat, seeing it from this perspective, it gives you a whole different feel of the city. It's really cool. And what would a river commute to work be without casting a line to snare a snapper or mull away? No guesses for what we caught, three-fifths of stuff all. The final stretch. Okay, it's taken twice the time of the car journey so far, but leaving the city behind and passing by the verdant vistas of the Royal Botanical Gardens gives me pause for thought. I could genuinely do this a couple of times a week. The fresh air, the peaceful bobbing of the boat, the languid pace, all it takes is just a little bit of preparation. So we're being overtaken by joggers, but that's besides the point. This experiment confirmed it's not only possible, but about as stressful as a hot rock massage. The Art Deco hodl bridge at Cremorn hoves into view, and I can see the car sales office behind it. The journey is over, and I kind of wish it wasn't, because this commute has been a delight for the senses and a salve for the soul. Okay, so I'm an hour late to work, and the slow pace was a little frustrating. At times, I just wanted to gun the throttle. But you know what? I'm feeling refreshed and revitalised. There was no gridlock chaos, no stress. It might not be for everyone, but if I could, I would love to do this a couple of times a week. And the best part? I'm gonna catch dinner on the way home.